I'm Kim Prather, Professor of Atmospheric Chemistry working at Scripps Institution of Oceanography and the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at UC San Diego. CASE is a center that's focusing on understanding how aerosols, little bits of dust and microscopic um, particles in the atmosphere influence our climate. Um, and what we've done as part of CASE is we, have, we are focusing on understanding how the ocean and the sea spray from the ocean actually influences our, our clouds and our climate. Well, right now we're actually replicating a phytoplankton bloom in the laboratory. So we've moved the ocean from, from the real world and our goal is to actually replicate the biological, physical, and chemical processes that happen in the ocean, but do it in the lab where we can actually study um, things more directly. Um, we actually have, we have a wave flume, a 33 meter long wave flume with breaking waves. We pump seawater directly from the ocean into this wave flume and we can break waves and produce sea spray in the lab where we can directly measure the sea spray. And so right now what we're doing is we're looking at how changes in the ocean due to induced by a phytoplankton bloom um, can actually lead to a change in the chemistry of the sea spray that gets produced. Pretty much my whole thesis is all case stuff. So in the previous year and a half to this, I have been doing these experiments on a much, much smaller level. I've been doing them in MARTs, which are marine aerosol reference tanks that CASE developed. And you might have seen them up there. They're just like large aquariums uh, with a wave breaking system in them. And we've done these experiments actually now five or six times in the MARTs, which is a much smaller, isolated, cleaner system. Now this is like the big one, doing it on a much larger scale. Aerosols are really complex. Each particle can be composed of thousands of different compounds. And so, you know, as a chemist, there's no way that we'd ever be able to go in and mix up just the right compounds, you know, in the right proportions. And so what we've chosen to do is to allow the bacteria and viruses and microbes to make those chemicals for us in the proper proportions. Then we can study their properties and really begin to understand how they are affecting our clouds and our climate. We have some, some leading experts here on things that I'm really interested in. One of those things is ice nucleation. And so from some connections and conversations that happened around this experiment, they're proposing a project for me to take on after this ends. And by the, I have all the permission to go with it and even some funds set aside just to do that. So it's not only just the publications, but just getting to know more of the community. We've had so many people here. I mean, this is like, essentially the best collection of aerosol chemistry instruments that you'll find in the world, all in one room. And so to, to know all of the people who run it and uh, are a part of them, that's really cool. So the beauty of this experiment is we've, we're working with physical oceanographers who've sort of taken this facility and looked up to the surface of the ocean. Atmospheric chemists tend to come in and look down to the surface of the ocean, but bringing physical oceanographers and atmospheric chemists together to look at the entire system is a first, I think, at this level.